everyone, this is Melissa from Trendline. In this video, I'll take you through the Trendline DVM score and how you can use these to evaluate a stock. Trendline provides three key scores for every stock, durability, evaluation and momentum or what we call the DVM scores. Each stock is assigned a score from 0 to 100, with 0 being the worst and 100 the best. To view the DVM scores for a desired stock, simply head over to the overview page. I have taken Tata Motors for the demo. Below the stock information, you will find the durability, valuation and momentum scores for the company. Below the stock name, you will find Strong Performer, which is based on the DVM scores. Click on the eye icon as shown here to see detailed information about DVM scores. Now let's break down what each score means. The durability score is based on the company's financials, its long-term performance and the quality of management. A durability score above 55 is considered good, indicating robust financial health and management, while a score below 35 is bad. Scores between 35 and 55 are neutral. High durability scores indicate companies that have consistently demonstrated good growth, stable revenues and profits, and low debt over time. The valuation score shows how expensive a stock is compared to its peers. A valuation score above 50 is considered good, suggesting the stock may be undervalued. Scores below 30 are bad, indicating overvaluation, and scores between 30 and 50 are neutral. High valuation scores point to potentially undervalued companies whose business strengths are not yet fully reflected in their share prices, offering potential investment opportunities. Keep in mind, however, that companies are sometimes undervalued for other reasons, such as previous management issues or other red flags. So valuation score needs to be looked at alongside weaknesses and threats to a company and the overall score. Momentum score tracks the bullish or bearish nature of a stock relative to the entire market. A momentum score above 59 is good, showing strong buying interest and positive sentiment. Scores below 30 are bad, indicating bearish trends, and scores between 30 and 59 are neutral. High momentum scores reflect stocks with increasing volumes and strong market sentiment. A high momentum score, high buying interest in the market, is not on its own a reason for investors to buy. A bullish stock may have, for example, very high PE and be very expensive, threatening its momentum in the future. The buying interest may fade quickly with a sudden influx of negative news. We give users three scores together so that investors can get a clearer picture of the stock across several factors. Traders may pay more attention to the momentum score, while long-term investors would want to look more at durability and valuation scores. DVM scores are a part of Trendline's four health checks and allow you to assess the company as per your investing style. You can also see the SWOT Trendline checklist and buy or sell zone alongside the DVM scores. Now let's see how you can view the DVM history for a stock. If you wish to see the DVM history for a desired stock, head over to the overview page. I have chosen Tata Motors for the demo. In the DVM scores section, click on the rewind icon as shown here. You will be able to see the historical data for durability, valuation or momentum scores. Here you can see Tata Motors durability score over the past 3 months, 1 or 2 years and more. You can also adjust the timeline to view the history. To do this, simply click on the date and make your desired adjustments. You can also download the DVM history for a stock. To do this, click on the chart context menu in the top right corner as shown here. Choose download CSV or download XLS from the drop down menu to save the file as a CSV or Excel file. You also have the option to download the chart as an image form, PNG, JPEG or as a PDF document. To do this, click on the respective option in the drop down menu. Trendline's DVM scores help you evaluate all aspects of a stock. You can choose from curated screeners or create your own using these scores to develop a high return trading or investing strategy. In the screeners section, you will find DVM screeners. These people screeners use the DVM score to filter stocks, sorting them according to their DVM classifications and scores. You can also backtest these screeners to see how a strategy has performed in the past. The backtests include Filters that let you adjust the frequency of portfolio reviews and control the number of stocks invested in each period. Now let's see how to identify top performers and avoid underperformers using DVM screeners. Let's first take the Strong Performers High DVM Stocks for NSE and BSC screener. To run a backtest, duplicate the screener by clicking on Copy. Then select the backtest icon. To choose the portfolio review frequency and the start and end date. This identifies how often you want the screener to rebalance stocks. Select the stock universe from the drop-down. I have chosen Nifty 500 here and set the portfolio review frequency as quarterly. Next, click on the advanced option to configure the preferences and also the maximum number of stocks you want to be selected each time. Using the sort by drop-down, you can select the parameter based on which stocks in the screener are selected for backtesting. I have set a maximum of 5 stocks based on the high trendline durability score for the demo. 
After making the required selections, click on Run Backtest to see the backtest results. According to the backtest result, this DVM screener has delivered cumulative returns of 2,402.5% at a 37.6% CAGR since June 2014. In contrast, the Nifty 500's cumulative return stands at 288.4%. Click on Backtest Details as shown here for detailed backtest results. In the Entry and Exit section, you can see the top performing stocks with the highest returns. In this case, JBM Auto, PCBL and Sriveni Engineering are among the top performers. In the period analysis section, you can assess the returns delivered by the screener over the backtest period. You can also see the maximum drawdown which shows the biggest observed loss from a portfolio's peak to its lowest point before a new peak is attained. Similarly, I've run a backtest of a screener with high durability stocks. The screener has delivered a cumulative return of 1678.3% at a 33% CAGR since June 2014 while the Nifty 500 delivered 288.4%. In the backtest details, I set the portfolio review frequency as quarterly and chose a maximum of 5 stocks based on high durability scores. The stock universe is set as Nifty 500. Next is a screener of stocks with high valuation scores. In the backtest settings, I have chosen Nifty 500 as a stock universe and a maximum of 5 stocks based on high valuation scores. The frequency is set as quarterly. The screener has delivered cumulative returns of 1,461% over the past 10 years at a 31.3% CAGR. The screener with high momentum score stocks has also outperformed the benchmark returns comfortably. In the backtest settings, I have chosen Nifty 500 as a stock universe and a maximum of 5 stocks based on high momentum scores. The frequency is set as quarterly. This screener strategy has delivered a cumulative return of 2140.5% in the past 10 years at a 36.1% CAGR since June 2014. In short, stocks with high durability, valuation and momentum scores tend to outperform the market. In contrast, companies with low DVM scores are red flags for investors. In the backtest settings, the stock universe is set as Nifty 500. The portfolio review frequency is set as monthly. The screener with low DVM score stocks has underperformed the benchmark index as it delivered negative cumulative returns of 12.3% for 5 years ended February 2018 at a 2.6% CAGR. In comparison, the Nifty 500 returns stood at 94.6% over the same period. In this video, we explore the DVM scores for the stock on Trendline and how you can use them to assess stock performance. Thanks for tuning in. This is Melissa signing off.